Alright, so here are the parts that remain of the Bill Strike Gundam. I've been uh, sanding it down and cleaning it up. Some parts I took the time to assemble um, sand down. Beam rifle didn't come out the way I want. I can, can probably continue on, but I just don't want to waste a lot of time. I do have to sand down the top part of this. The big beam rifle took a lot of time to sand down. That's pretty cool. And then the beam pistol. Kind of like this beam pistol. Really nice. I haven't seen it in the episode yet. We'll probably see the, see this soon. Um, some of the parts that I need to that I was putting together is like this part of the leg. Um, I didn't glue it, but this one has to be sanded down in the back. I have to review. Yeah, I'm actually looking at it from the back part of that. There it is. Um, hmm. Yeah. So this one needs to be glued and sanded down. I have these two done. This portion of the the thigh. So you know, as you can see, I'm pre-assembling parts that need to be uh, put together. Um, the fighter, it, the fighter portion of the of the um, the strike booster. This one was easy to sand down and close up, and then as I'm looking at all this, I'm like let's go to the wings. The um, design of the wings in the and let me get the uh, stickers. All right, so these stickers right here, these parts go wrapped around that. I think on the leading edges, yes, on the, on the leading edges, all the way like that. So, I'll have to spray paint it, uh, prime it first and spray paint it, then, well, I want to uh, spray paint it the metallic blue, but then I want to spray, uh, spray paint this the uh, gun chrome. So I think what I'll do is I'll spray the whole thing gun chrome first, then using masking tape, cover up the entire section of the wing, both back and front, and then respray paint it again, the metallic blue. The same thing with this one. The only difference is that uh, the um, this part here, this portion here, which was, I, I think I said before, that this little dark, dark uh, portion of the, um, of the stickers go, this will, of course, be covered up, or, you know, yeah, covered up in a way, and I guess I'll have to spray paint it black, or gray. Oh, it's the gray color, that's right. So it's going to be identical to the, um, it's going to be identical to the inner frame gray, not black. Therefore, I'll be using, um, metallic gray. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes total sense. don't see anything else. I think that one has to be spray, uh, spray painted in the inside, but I can't tell. The shadow is a bit odd, but I, I'll do it anyway. It's no big deal. That shouldn't be a bit of a trouble. Uh, thruster parts, and then of course, looking at uh, still the, um, the decal sections like this one is the same thing, where in the wings, like all around here is white. So that, this has to be covered up once I finish painting it, or maybe cover the other way, I don't know how I want to do it. Supposedly, the red parts, this one, after it's painted, everything has to be covered up from the top, so that way the bottom portion is painted, uh, uh, according to this, where is it? That part has to be gray. Yeah, there's a lot of decals here. It covers up a lot of world, a lot of world to hurt. Like here's another, here's the other one. Um, this part here, where I have to cover the inside and then spray the outside um, metallic red. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna continue reviewing some parts, sanding down, and then I'm gonna begin priming. 
Alright, so what you see here is a small sample of parts that I have begun priming. And uh, some of them I have pre-assembled, not to assemble completely, just to put them on and review them, so make sure that when I paint them, it's all conform to the part. So here's the blue, the uh, chest part, and uh, this is a portion of the thrust of the um, backpack. The wings I decided to assemble, and then clearly I see that this part here is exposed, so I may have to remember to spray paint it, and then turn it, and then spray paint it again. Probably won't be a big problem. Just notice that right now. Some of the um, here's another here's a, another thruster for the. Um, for the build booster. I'm noticing that <clears throat> I may be putting on a lot of um, a lot of um, masking tape on areas that I'm going to need to cover and respray paint other colors. Um, for example, let me show you this one. Here is uh, the wing, the uh, I'm sorry, the um, the fin on the um, on the backpack thruster, and. Uh, if you look at the manual, as a matter of fact, let's put it out right now. Here, we'll use that. As you see there, this one has the decal area around the back portion of it, which I have the you know the white decal. So my idea would be to paint the whole thing one color then get the masking tape, cover up both sides, here, 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 and then re-spray paint the other color, or vice versa. Then uh, I wasn't going to prime the gray, but I had a lot of primer left over in, in the reservoir, and I said, nah, let me do it anyway. So here's the um, one of the arms, which I had to bend make sure that it worked. Some trim parts here. A portion of the leg. And by the way, I'm going to paint this metallic uh, gray, but I'm going to use the acrylic paint. I don't like to use the uh, lacquer-based paint um, in, the, uh, um, in the inner frame. Well, this is considered inner frame, even though this is a high-grade kit. And, uh... Yeah, this one needed to be covered up as well, the uh, this beam cannon weapon. Um, I messed up on the uh, on this, but you know, I, this, this is just for fun. I'm not going to take this to competition or anything like that. But I just wanted to show you guys, all, you know, show this off for you guys. Now, n oh yeah, I must forgot, here's some red parts that I have also primed. Good to see. This one also needs to be, after it finishes, after I finish painting it, I have to cover the whole thing to so expose the bottom part and spray paint this the metallic gray. Now, normally I would do this during um, during the course of the build, during you know me painting and stuff like that. But I inadvertently began to start spray painting the um, the next color without me recording, and I said, ah, I should have showed this, but that's no big deal. So. Here are all the parts that I have just finished spray painting uh, gun crop. And uh, just to show you the results, it came out pretty good, nice and smooth. I kind of learned a little bit more on how to uh, apply this type of paint on to parts now. Now, somebody said I should have, <clears throat> I, I know, um, maybe a video back, somebody said I should have gloss clogged it. Mm, not this time. Didn't feel like doing it. Didn't really feel like doing it. This one, on the other hand, I kind of screwed up. Because there's a little bit of lining there that I must have, must have swiped my hand over the primer. And now it came up this. And... Uh, again, this is just for fun. I'm not going to take this to competition. No big deal. Here's the head. 
nice and silvery or gummy. And here's the uh, the legs portion of the um, this one is going to come off soon, so I'm going to make sure that this one's still. Actually, this this these parts are done. I could take them off if I want to. I'm just reviewing them, but I have to at least uh, gloss coat it a bit. Here's the other part, which of course, like I said before, I'm going to have to cover this part and spray paint the bottom part. Now this one is the red part. Is it red? Yes, the red trim. Portion of the foot. And then here's the, uh, the thigh. Which of course I assemble it so that way when I spray paint it, it's all even. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, that's a small sample of what I did with the um, white parts, turning it silver, turning it gun chrome, you could say. I am now going to work on the next color, and that will be metallic blue. See how this comes out. <laughs> 